Now, for a long time, I have really hoped that we had passed the high watermark of TV viewership, TV view time in the United States. We passed peak obesity, at least according to some analyses, and you would think that would correspond to a general enlightenment in the American public, that there would be some shift in consciousness uh, accompanying that uh, 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 reversal of that trend. I mean, maybe we just couldn't get any fatter. I don't know. But the headline that uh, we're getting today from AFP, North Americans, world's biggest TV addicts watching four hours a day. Now, watching TV is like hiring a really dumb person who wants to sell you stuff to surf the internet for you. It is really, really a, a, a terribly dumb giving up of your intellectual autonomy to say, just I'm just going to turn the TV on, I'm just going to flip around the channels, put whatever you want in my brain, advertisers, propagandists, please program me. This is why they call it TV programming. And I would hope that in the age of the internet that this would be on the decline. And maybe it is. Maybe this, maybe this is more propaganda, of course. But uh, the average person around the world spent nearly three hours a day in front of their television last year, according to a report released Monday. Eurodata TV Worldwide said that television viewing is holding up despite more and more people watching online platforms like Netflix and Amazon. Now, that's great. You know, and I'm, I'm commercial free, please. You know, just this is this is this is insane. Like, has America not heard of the Internet? I, 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 I know, I know. I, I, I'm obviously being a little bit facetious there, but seriously, we, we have the ability to at very least be entertained without being programmed, w w without having commercials in just uh, thrust into our brains. This, this is this is brain pollution. Can, can, can you just kill your television already? And, and I don't mean that the, the TV, you know, be entertained. I don't care. Watch watch documentaries. Watch watch good shows. Watch things without commercials, things that enrich your lives and challenge you. And, you know, I, I'm, a, I'm a little bit biased here because uh, against fiction in general, I'm, I'm just that kind of nerd. Uh, I, I, there are so many good documentaries out there. I, I, I cringe at the thought of watching a movie that, you know, when, when there's so much good information out there that can enrich your worldview, enrich your life, help you live better. Why? Oh, why would you just be tuning into random sitcoms? You want to laugh. You know, there's great stand up comedy on demand on the internet. Why? Why would you just, you know, it doesn't cost any more at this point. Everybody's got the internet access already to turn off the TV, cut the cord, cut the cable. European viewers came next, watching three hours, 49 minutes a day in 2017, just out of Russia and Brazil. The data gathered from 95 countries showed. This is, I mean, this is not a distinctly American phenomenon, but yeah, America leads the world in something time spent in front of the propaganda machine. Maybe this explains so many of the problems we're facing as a country right now. <laughs> that we would elect a television president like Donald Trump. It all makes sense now, doesn't it? Have we been sucked in? Is, that, is this an addiction? Do we need counseling? Do we need therapy? I don't know. I, I hope that the trend away from television continues. So this is, you know, I, I, like I said, I, this isn't just a, you know, a blip of data. According to Vice President Frederick Volpra um, of the Eurodata TV Worldwide organization, the length of time people watch television is holding up despite the growing available availability of online content. There was a slight fall in TV viewing in North America and Asia, but it is still growing in South America and in Europe. It is maintaining historically high levels. Asians watch less TV than any of the other major markets, spending two hours, 25 minutes in front of the box. In China, that drops to two hours, 12 minutes. TV is not dead, but viewing habits were also changing. 
Replay services add an extra 8% to the audience in the 35 countries where they were measured. That's replay services. Hopefully that's people watching at least without commercials. In Sweden, one of the most digitally advanced countries in the world, young adults watch slightly less than two hours a day. Millennials and young adults spending more time on their mobile phones, often catching up with programs that way. <laughs> you know, I mean, this gets to, to the bigger problem uh, of just being a conscientious consumer of information, being a deliberate curator of the information in your brain. And I know if you're watching this, I guess I don't need to tell you you're already on the enlightened side of this divide, but this needs to be a critical part of this step in human evolution. If you want to be free, if you don't want to be a slave, you have to reclaim sovereignty over your own mind. You have to take control of the information that is allowed into your head. Please, please, please. And I don't just say this to America. I say this to the world. Kill your television. Thank you to YouTube for hosting this video and for being an essential part of human progress by making video hosting available worldwide to everyone on the internet. However, the next phase in human progress is here with Steemit.com and their video hosting alternative blockchain-based solutions, including DTube. And you can find that through Steemit.com as well as my own page there, at Adam Kokesh. This is a decentralized blockchain-based social media network that pays you fairly for your content. Already, I'm regularly making more there with a single post than I do from an entire month on YouTube. So please join us on the next frontier of the information revolution at steamit.com. And if you want help getting a leg up there, I'm happy to re-steam your posts and make sure that no one is starting from scratch. Just email me one of your favorite posts at adam at and we'll share it on my feed.